This video demonstrates the use of oops command in AutoCAD. I have a number of objects on my screen and I would like to erase the circle. So I'll select erase tool and I'll select the circle and enter. So the circle is gone. Now I want to create a rectangle. So I'll select a rectangle tool and I'll click my first corner over here and the opposite corner here. Now I feel like I want to restore that circle back. I want to get that erase circle back. Is there any way? Yes, you can do that with the help of undo command. You have to execute the undo command two times. But when I give undo for the first time, I'll be losing this rectangle. When I give undo for the second time, I'll be getting that circle back. But is there any way to get that circle back without losing this rectangle? Yes, this is where you can make use of the oops command. So I'll give oops and the circle is back. So the oops command restores the most recently erased set of objects in AutoCAD. Even if it appears like a simple command, it will be of tremendous use in some situations. For example, imagine you are working on this 3D house project. And this is a three-storied house with plenty of details incorporated. You have almost finished the model. Now you are asked to incorporate some simple detailing on this particular beam. So you, what you can do is you can just erase all objects except this beam. Then you can just isolate that beam. Then you can work comfortably on that area. Then after you finished it, you can just oops to get the rest of the objects back. So let's see how to do it. I'll give erase command first. When I am asked to select objects, I will give all. My intention is not to erase the entire object. I want to isolate this particular beam. So I will type R at the select object prompt. Now the select object prompt changes to remove objects. Now I will just click on the beam. So that particular beam is removed from the entire selection. Now just give an enter to perform the erase command. Now you have isolated the beam. You do all the necessary work on this beam but you should remember that you should not erase any other object because you are actually planning to oops to get the rest of the objects back after you finish the work on this beam. Now let's assume that I have added some simple detailing on this beam. Now I can just give oops to get my objects back. So next time when you work don't forget to remember oops.